what's happening guys, Deck Pro here bringing you with the best decks for every challenge and today we have the bridge spam challenge and as you can see it is a three spawner cycle with the royal giant win condition 4.3, pretty heavy but extremely extremely effective I will show you people are not expecting spawners and it's since it is bridge spam this is a constant defense on the bridge so if you want to see the best decks for every challenge in this season make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications but let me show you this deck so we're gonna start right away with the goblin hunt just apply pressure So the musketeer will take out a decent amount. Looks like a hog cycle kind of thing. Yep. Try a barbarian hut. Takes the hog rider. The musketeer focused on the barbarian hut. The barbarian hut will go down. See if he puts down a cannon. I will put down the arrows to further weaken that cannon. And I've seen a lot of hog cycle in this challenge action. Apply more pressure. The furnace. And the furnace every 10 seconds. Two fire spirits will pop up. Very helpful. He hasn't fireballed the spawners yet. Oh, there we go. I'll put a knight on the musketeer. And you see he comes in again with that cannon. Now I am going to push him with the royal giant now that he has lost his cannon. The royal giant should get a decent amount of damage. He will put down skeletons, but I'll have my arrows ready. The musketeer comes up, and that is a good amount of damage from my royal giant. That's what I like to see. 800 health left. Focuses on the furnace. Furnace is low, but is still alive. He fireballs it. I'm going to put a barbarian hut. Make sure to not let the hog rider get hit. I have three towers. He is not... He is not going to hit me with his hog rider. And you see, playing very defensive is Torg. The firecracker targets the musketeer instead. I'll skeleton army, see what happens. A and a fireball comes down, but not in time. I'm going to spam with the royal giant. And the arrow. Might need to spell cycle this match, and it would be good to get ahead early. And the firecracker hits. The tower is taken. The spawners just destroying. The spawners controlling this game. This guy has no opportunity with hog cycle to deal any damage to me. It's just not going to happen. And... It doesn't have to be Royal Giant for the win condition. You can use whatever you feel like using. Hog Rider, Royal Hogs. What matters is that you have a win condition that only focuses on towers. That's the main point. We're going to start with Barbarian Hut. We have Furnace and the Goblin Hut in cycle. And we should start with that. And the cannon cart comes down. Don't know what to expect from this deck just yet. And the cannon cart dealing no damage like it always does. The skeleton army for the hog rider. And also you can use goblin gang or bats for the skeleton army. Just whatever you feel like you're good with. When the barbarians in the night are going to deal a lot of damage. I'm going to put a firecracker to get the extra bullets to hit the tower. A lot of damage being done right now. The firecracker gets hit. I'm going to place another barbarian hut. 
this guy is confused and I'm this deck is insane I wasn't expecting it to work this well I just thought if it's bridge spam why not have constant bridge counter and spawners exactly fit that so I gave it a shot and I haven't lost yet I'm going to put the knight so it'll hit the knight and the barbarian will get damage. And a strange poison not hitting the barbarian hut or the furnace. And looks... Oh, no. Valkyrie comes out. Bad firecracker placement on my part, but that is alright. See if I can get tower. Nope, the skeleton army comes in. I'm going to go royal giant here as double elixir is on. And I have enough elixir to support myself. That is tower. Now we're going to go full defensive mode. I don't feel like we're going to get the second tower here. So I'm going to put I'm going to put spawners in the front of the tower. Put a goblin hut on this side. And there is no chance he's winning this. No matter how hard he tries. Bridge spam cannot counter. It's just genius. It's not going to counter spawners. Like, you don't have to use this spawner deck. Just use spawners in your deck. Just make sure to use spawners. Spawners are extremely effective. See if we can get the second tower. Doesn't look like we're going to, but we had a good run that match. A very good run. Where is that emo? There it is. into our final game. We're going to start with the furnace. You see the skeletons, we might have another hog cycle deck. No, still possibly, but doubt it. I'm gonna put a barbarian hut in the back, see what he does. Right now he's just cycling. Kind of at a dead end here. The best thing to do would probably Royal Giant in the back. But as of now, no spawners in our hand. That's what I'm going to do. The Electro Wizard will take out a lot. And I'm going to put a Skeleton Army, see if we can get any damage. And yes, the Royal Giant is taken out with no damage done. The Firecracker definitely helping. And the Firecracker is taken out, but the Knight will take out the Electro Wizard. And I have an arrows in case he has any spam. And a fisherman popping up. My arrow the skeletons. Gets a decent amount of hits. The barbarians will get a hit too. And the crown tower and the goblin hut should be able to take out the skeleton dragons. Put another furnace for added pressure. And see what he does. And he is letting the fire spirits hit. And just puts an electro wizard in the back. Very strange move. I'm going to put a barbarian hut right here. I'm expecting a royal giant. There it is. See if the skeleton army can get anything done or he has a spell. But the barbarian hut defending the tower well. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put a royal giant in the back. And then we're going to do double royal giant with spawners adding to the offense. The fireballs, the royal giant as well as the goblin hut. And now, let's see, we did not get the double royal giant in time, but I will put a royal giant at the bridge. He puts a royal giant on the left side, very unexpected, but is going to let my royal giant hit. And arrowing the royal giant, it doesn't deal much damage. His right tower is at 182 health. Hmm. 
the fisherman will get one hit on the tower. And no, it doesn't. And he has a push up on the left side, but won't deal enough damage. Ooh, it was a very strong push, but not enough. And now the royal giant shall finish the right tower. Made it a very close game with that one final push. Barely countered it. I was not expecting it. But there you go. Nine wins in the challenge. Here is that free ram rider. And there you have it. We have beaten the bridge spam challenge. And if you want to find the best deck for every challenge and these next three challenges, make sure to subscribe and thank you very much.